Welcome back to the map where I define circuit. As you can see, I've got a few toys with me. I have my 10 pound ball power ring and my magic circle, a 10 pound free weight dumbbell board, a 10 pound kettlebell board for this exercise, for this circuit as well. And our magic number is five. We're going to be doing five reps of everything that sounds small, but I promise it's going to be enough. Uh, we're also going to be targeting adductors and abductors, inner and outer thighs, and we're working on our balance. So this is like the whole package, okay? So we're going to start with that magic circle just above the ankle bones there, and we want just a slight squeeze on the ring. Toes are pointing straight forward, heels straight back, and you have just a little lightness in those heels. We're going to hold our weight in front of us and just start with some gentle roll downs. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, chin to chest, roll it down. When your weight touches the floor, I want you to push it into the floor. Bend your knees, open your chest like you're doing a cat cow stretch, and then exhale. Stretch the knees, scoop your belly in, and roll to the top, so we should be finding our hamstrings and our core with this nice little warm up move here. Round it in. Let that weight kind of pull your scapula across your back as you start the roll up. Inhale, tail on back, chest forward. Scoop. And roll it up. Last time here. Roll it down. Find your extension, big toes. Stay heavy. Try not to roll to your pinkies here. That's going to be the tendency. So you really want to plant your big toes, hug your thighs together. Now, moving into our two by four here, working on some balance. We're going to start by picking our heels up and zip we're pulling that weight up towards our chin. Now keep the heels lifted, bend the knees. As the heels lower, you send the weight down and stretch the legs. So the weight moves with the heels. So we rise, knees bend, heels and weight down, stretch the legs. Here for three, belly button is fine. Big toes pushing into the floor and stretch. Two. Lots of control happening here. Last one in the stretch, and elbows lift, shoulders are down, back. And stretch, now we reverse that pattern. Make sure your toes are still pointing forward. Knees bend, heels and weight lift. Knees stretch, heels and weight lower. Repeat, knees, heels and weight. Knees, heels and weight. Drop those shoulders down. Try not to keep picking up from those traps. Three more here. Press, lower down. Two, heels and weight. Lower down, one, and lower down. Good, now I'm just gonna rotate a little bit towards you so you can see what's going on. I actually have this nice little ribbon around my waist so you're gonna be able to see what's happening with my pelvis. So I'm gonna take my weight into one hand, press it up overhead, pulling that bicep towards my ear. I'm gonna punch my fist to the ceiling, send the opposite arm out to a T. We're making a letter L here with the arms. Now with the weight inside, you're gonna push through that standing leg and try to lift the opposite foot. And you'll notice I'm not hiking my hip up, I'm reaching my heel down. Both sides of the waist are long, I'm lengthening on my standing side to make space there. Now shift to the middle, exchange the weight, exchange the weight. Good. So we're just going to go side to side here and find that balance. Try to get your toes off and deliberately take a moment to balance and then you decide when to put that foot back down on the floor. This looks so simple, but it is really so tricky. All right, now the next time you come to your first side, we're going to stay here. Reach up to the weight out of your free arm. Squeeze 
and release that ring. Four, big toe heavy in the mat. Three, two, one, place it down. Exchange sides. Lift that foot all on the side. We squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, squeeze. Last two and one. Place that weight, the foot down, bring the weight down as well. All right, last set in the series, and then we're gonna do our back break. Bring the weight to your chest. We're going for some chair squats. I'm actually gonna rotate so you can see my alignment here. So, we're gonna sit the hips back, send the weight forward, pull it to the chest. Four, three. Now, if you're somebody that's used to maybe splaying your toes, um, or turning out in your squats. This magic circle is doing some work. Last one. Just roll forward, soft knees here. Let that weight kind of turn like you're turning the steering wheel. And then go ahead and set that down. Grab the ring. We're going to set our weight off to the side. Grab your ring. Cross the legs, come down onto your mat here. Reach your right back and overhead. Knees are into the chest. We do our stepping series with our magic circle here. So when you're ready, we're going to come into a curl. Bring that circle up over the knees. And your palms are pressing and your fingers are long. One leg in, one leg out. Exhale, change. And if you like, you can have a little pulse. The ring's not going to move very much. You've got to widen your back to pulse on the ring. Two. And one. One, bring the knees in, bring this over the shins, inhale, legs up, bring back over your head, exhale, hold in, double leg stretch, three, curl up to those legs, two, one, now send your toes straight up, bring this to the shins, lower one leg, scissor change, single straight leg stretch, hold that curl Reach the ring towards your ankles. Two. One. One. Rest it down. Now, you're going to make an L with your thumb. Hook that behind the handles. Bring the ring just under your hairline, behind your skull. And then with your exhale, rock into your curl. Get a little support here. Double straight leg stretch. Inhale, toes lower. Exhale, lift, squeeze those inner thighs, bring your elbows to your thighs. Get a little curlier in every one. Three. Two. One. Bend the knees, palms back to the handles. We crisscross. Take your right hand down to the floor on the outside of the right leg. Up and over. Other side. Crisscross for four. Bring that ring over the shins. Three. Two. And one. One. Rest it back. Set your ring off to the side. Let's rock ourselves up to standing. And we'll move to our second set. So we targeted. Adductors on our first set. We're going to work AB ductors, adductors, out of thighs on our second set. So you're going to step into the ring, widen your feet enough that you are creating tension in it. And again, toes forward, heels back. Hold your weight in front of you. Inhale, prepare for a long. Exhale, round forward. Find the weight against the floor. Open the chest as you sink into a knee bend. Find your curl. Roll it back to the top. Four more like that. Weight towards your toes. Send the hips back. Open the chest. Roll it up. Up. Keep tension in your magic circle. And keep all ten toes pressing into the floor. Notice if it's starting to roll, if you're kind of crunching your toes up. Find 
the top. Okay, our two by four, our balance here. Gonna feel a little different here. So straight knees, heels rise. Pull the weight up, keep that big toe heavy. Bend the knees. Lower the heels and the weight. Stand tall. Now it's gonna be a little trickier to keep tension in the ring with it around the outside of the ankle. So you have to be very deliberate in the way that you move and following your patterns. Elbows lift, heels lift, knees bend, send it down, stretch the legs. Last two. And one. Stretch. Now if you need to create more tension, you might need to send your heels out a little bit. Reverse it. Knees bend. Keep the knees bent. Heels lift, weight lifts. Stretch the knees. Lower the heels, lower the weight. Soften down. Pull up. Lengthen. And lower. For three. Two. Keep tension in the ring. It's harder with this A reduction. Last one. I think we got a bonus in both directions. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to rotate towards you. Again, keeping tension, feeling your pelvis wide. We're going to send our weight up and overhead. Notice where your hips are. Shift your weight. Keep tension in that ring. Set the foot down. Other side. Strong supporting leg. Strong supporting side. The foot pushes down as the weight pushes up. Length of this whole side here. Two. Two. One. One. Now we come back to our first side. Hold it out there. Let that big toe push open on the ring. Five, four, three, two, one. Replace the foot. Other side, I told you, was going to come quick. That burn. Push open. Five, four, three, two, one. Replace the foot. I'm going to rotate so you can see my profile. We finish with our squat. So make sure you've got tension in that ring. Bring the weight to your chest. Hips back, weight forward. Hold it in. Four. Sole of the foot pushes into the mat. Two. One. Round forward, soft knees. Give yourself a little twist. Palms to the handles, 
We crisscross to finish. Five. Four. Up and over those chains. Three. Two. And one. One. Bend and go to put that ring over the tops of your knees. Find pull out easy. Arms by your sides. Just take a nice bridge here. Lift your hips up. Send your arms back. Melt through your chest. Lengthen your legs out. Put the ring up to the side. And just rock through your heels. Circle the arms around. Drag the legs and let's rock her up to a seated position. Taking a moment to collect ourselves, inhale as we reach up. Palms connect, coming down in front of the heart center. Nice deep cleansing breath to center yourself, feeling your heart rate come back to normal. And then take a moment of gratitude for spending this time with your body, for doing something good for your body today. I'm so glad that you spent this time with me, and I'll see you on the mat next time.